Oh my gosh, we get a triple kill. I need to run Padre, run Padre. Oh my gosh. We are all up in their spawn doing some work right now. They're dropping motherships and everything on us. Can we take them out? Boom, we get the god like, oh my gosh. This thing is going ham sandwich right now. What is happening? Oh my gosh, beyond god like, what? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, this is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So today, we've got an awesome episode. We are going to be going over the Kepri with Orcers. This thing is a beauty. I was actually tremendously shocked at how well it was working, and it made me think, did Corkers get a silent buff that Pixonic did not include so we all know the atomizers got a buff in the most recent update but now the question is were the corkers adjusted as well or is it just the drone combination I'm using with the modules the synergy of all that that's getting all this damage oh before we continue and I show you the rest of the build we have two giveaways going on right now uh one for five dazzlers and then the other one is for 200 that's right 200 of the spirit smooth I'll put links up in the top right corner um so you guys can go check those out all right so here is the build we have the misaki and pachi pilot we're using roadhog armor expert death survivor dodger cautious pilot tough guy and foolhardy quartermaster our modules are repair amplifier nuclear amplifier anti-control and advanced repair unit for the drone and this is really really important we're using the barrel drone uh, we've got the freezer chip on there. You could use suppressor if you want. Either way, it doesn't matter. But this, this is the important piece, the on suppression immune damage. You could use on suppression immune, on lock immune, on freeze immune, whatever immune, because it synergizes with the pilot and the anti-control. So Misaki's main ability is when the ability is active, Kepri is immune to freeze, suppression, and lockdown. So you get 70% there when you activate. And the anti-control, if somebody triggers your anti-control while you're in your ability, you actually get it doubled, so it's twice. It's really amazing, it's really awesome. Um, I did not want to spread this build around because it, it's so good. Um, but I saw a lot of other people had done it already. So now the, the cat is out of the bag, as they say. So now I'm comfortable in showing it. Um, also, we're going to be running two to try to improve our odds and get more good games and good action. Same exact build, same exact pilot, same exact skills. So everything is all good in the hood there. And the drone is identical as well. And if you also look at my hangar, I have a couple other energy machine gun builds. One over here on the right is the Arden Behemoth with four times Nucleon. And then all the way to the left here is the Warrior Typhon with Ivory Atomizer and Techno Atomizer. I wish I had two more Ivory Atomizers. That would look absolutely sick on there. Uh, to have the all four gold ones but we've got them split up like that but it's still cool uh without further ado let's hop right into this gameplay so you can see how this bad mamma jamma purrs out on the battlefield all right here we are so what we're gonna do today is i'm gonna show you a couple of action clips and then i'm gonna show you a couple of gameplay so you guys can see this thing in operation in many different scenarios um i don't want anyone to get the false impression that they should be upgrading things so when I make a video like this with the build, it performs much better when I record it than it actually will most of the time. I like to preface it by saying that, and I like to show a few different examples of how this will play against regular randoms, against stronger opponents, and against squad scenarios. So you're going to get a little taste of everything today with this. So we are pushing up. We are on their home beacon right now. All right, boom, there we go. We get our first kill of the match, and we are going to go in for the kill right now. I see this Typhon behind this little this little mound, so we're going to try to make our way around. Somebody spawns in, but we're going to disregard him. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely melted that Typhon out of existence. Now, this is a Revenant. Check this out. The toughest bot in the game right now. Look at this bad boy get shemelted up. 
Look at his health bar just evaporate. He got a big nebula healing right there. Can we finish him off? Boom, we get the triple kill. Good stuff there. Now it's a little Kepri on Kepri action. Took him out, no problem with the Rampage Rampage. Very nice. He had the acid Kepri build, and we got the Corker one, and we were able to best him. Um, let's see what's going on here. We have a Revenant. We have a out June. Let's see if we can take this June out. Oh, man, he goes into phase shift. Can we take him out? Oh, man, they stole the kill on me. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. All right, we got to focus on this Revenant. Try to get this Revenant down. Let's see if we can get this baby cooking right now. Let's hit our ability button for that extra damage boost and look at him get taken to instantly down to last stand. We're going to wait to try to take him out now. Oh, my gosh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, this guy is tough, 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 tough. And we are in the thick of it right now. Can we take him out? Oh, my gosh. Double kill. Oh, it took too long. We were on a rampage. So this should actually should be a godlike and then a beyond godlike since we're on a double kill again. So the next kill would technically have been a living legend, but it took way too long in between because someone stole that out June on us. That's no bueno, no bueno, no bueno. All right, man. We are doing some work on this Fenrir right now. And the key to the Kepri is you got to slide and glide. Slide and glide. Boom, we get the triple kill. All right, baby, let's go. So sliding and gliding left to right. This is going to be your best friend while playing the Kepri, regardless of the weaponry. These weapons in particular, you need to do that. Um, you, you want There's going to be a tendency to want to stand still to be more accurate. You need to avoid that tendency while using these weapons. Your best bet is to get all up in their face like a can of mace. Stick those corkers right in their belly like buffalo says shout out to my clan mate buffalo he's been raving and raging about this uh build and all its fantastical adventures with it and look at this we just spawned this new kepri in with corkers our nuclear amplifier isn't even charged up and look at the amount of damage we're doing to this full hp nodens keep in mind guys we just spawned this new robot our nuclear amplifier is not filled if our nuclear amplifier was filled i'm confident we could have won that fight all right, guys, now here is the full clip from the gameplay I showed you guys in the beginning intro sequence. This is an action-packed little sequence. I can't wait for you guys to see this. All right, guys, we are spawning in here, rolling downhill towards center with our Capri with Quarker. It's our fun build of the day. It's actually very nice, especially once you get those nuclear amplifiers charged up. Um, if you spot somebody from 500 meters away, you can laser them up. It's not until your weapons start to overheat and they get a little less accurate. Um, then you're going to start to do a lot less damage because a lot of your shots are missing. But if you have that accuracy and your weapons are cooled down, you are going to be able to deal and dish out such a crazy amount of damage. It's actually so, so much fun. In a way, I really do miss the, uh, the EMG meta with Corker, Atomizer, Nucleon. Um, they were great, great weapons, man. I don't know if you guys loved them, but I loved them. Um, you know, for me, they were ranged. I really never played any 600 meter setups, but 500 meters is more than enough for me. And um, so you could fight out to 500 meters consistently well. And if you needed to, you could brawl with them. And that's what I really, really loved about um, this weapon set. And the beautiful thing is you didn't have to wait for a reload or anything like that. All you need to do is let off the trigger for a little bit, let those weapons cool down, and you're going to get your accuracy back. So how these things work is the longer you hold the trigger down, the hotter they get, and the less accurate they get. So your start, shots are going to start spraying all over the place. Oh man, trying to take this shell out. Boom, he took him down. So they're not great against physical shields. So that's also something else you guys need to keep in mind. Um, if you're playing EMGs, energy machine guns, for those of you who are not aware, that is the, uh, you know, a little short term phrase for them. So there's a lot of action right there. So instead of going straight on, I'm going to move away. Oh, nice. Rarely get a double kill. Instead of going head on right there, I saw this beacon was open up top. So I'm going to try to move over here and snag this beacon from them, hoping they're not paying attention. Now I'm checking my positioning, looking back around to see if anyone's going to spawn on this beacon. They didn't. I'm also looking at their home beacon to see if anyone notices me and is making their way my way. And I'm looking at their home spawn. So I'm being very alert and cognizant of what's happening around me. This is, you know, called battlefield awareness. And this is what a lot of people need to work on. Uh, while doing this, you know, when you get used to doing this, um, you can make 
much better decisions out there on the battlefield in the heat of the moment. Oh my gosh, we got the triple and the Rampage. What is going on here? They're dropping airstrikes and everything on us. Jeez Louise, Pop Cheese. Oh my gosh, we got the godlike. What is happening right now, man? This is insanity. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, we got the beyond godlike. What in the world is going on? We are in the heat of madness. All right, guys, so this is a match where I actually ran into my clanmate, Buffalo. Funny enough, the guy who was telling me about this build, I ended up running against him. So now you're going to get a chance to see what this build does while playing against stronger opponents, not just randoms. This, team, this game in particular, there was a few good players on the other side, top tier, strong meta players. And you guys are going to see how this performs in those situations. All right, we're trying to take this shell down. He has a blue shield up right now, but luckily we have energy machine guns, and those energy guns bypass those blue shields. So that is not a problem. If we were running like Cramola, um, the Cramola would have to impact that shield. Those are kinetic, so that's what the blue shield blocks, only kinetic weapons, rockets, uh, machine guns, stuff like that. All right, we were able to take him down, and we still have a good portion of our health. Oh, nice, man. We got a double kill and a triple kill. We are cooking right now. At this moment in time, look at it. It's Buffalo in the sky. This is when I first realized he's in the match. I'm like, man, this guy's going to ruin my video right now. <laughs> so I'm trying to shoot at him. I was trying to get him down to last stand while he was in the sky, but I was unable to. I'm going to try to get him down to his last stand right now, but we got an out June peppering us up from the side. Oh, man, where'd he go? Ooh, buffs off into his flight right now. Let's go around over here, try to take this out June out of the equation. Oh, my gosh, he goes into phase shift, waiting around the corner for our second to pounce. Here we go, hitting our ability for that damage, getting all up in his face, blazing him up with those corkers. Boom, we get the Rampage. Very, very nice. Ooh, we got this little dude over here taking a flight up into the sky. I'm going to try to use this little uh, this little wall as cover if I could. When playing against people that are shooting you with the homing machine guns, you have to be very, um, very alert of the cover that's around you. And a lot of the times, you're able to move at an angle where they can't hit you. So although, you know, people say you can't counter them, you know, you could do your best to mitigate their effect at any given time but right here i'm out in the open i've got nowhere to hide right now and i get boom zapped down i got a little too aggressive a little bit too greedy but i was on a roll i was trying to keep that streak going to create some content so a lot of the times when i'm playing i'll play overly aggressive just to try to make something happen because if you're playing passive and laid back you're not always necessarily uh going to get good gameplay and if you have strong aggressive opponents on the opposing team um they're gonna get to you quick and they're gonna chew you up you know what i'm saying so i like to be the the aggressor instead of the one who is getting aggressed upon if that makes any sense so champion league players and legend league players and top players are extremely extremely aggressive um so you need to match match their speed and aggression to stand a chance all right, we've got the behemoth with nucleons here. This is the build I was talking about in the beginning of the game. I'm going to see if we can get a little good action going on with this thing. We're shooting that guy while he's in his flight, trying to go through that reflector shield, but we were taking on a bunch of damage ourselves through it. And as you can see, man, we are doing a phenomenal amount of damage at range. Um, I ended up getting EMP'd right there, and this revenant teleported in on me and was able to take me out quick, fast, and in a hurry. That was no bueno at all. So we basically lost that robot without getting much out of it. All right, so now we're going to drop in with our second Kefri with Porkers. Let's see if we can make something happen out here with this. Uh, the enemy team is starting to take that third beacon, and they're establishing a great position on the map. Um, it's hard using, like, older non-metal weapons sometimes. Um, you're not going to perform as well as you could. Like if I was running flames and acids and bendies and stuff like that, I could have performed a lot better in these games. But I'm trying to, to stick with the old, uh, the older weapons. I wanted to do all energy machine guns, but I didn't have enough for the uh, for the revenant. I had one heavy left, the nucleon, but I had no more corkers left. 
Um, I upgraded eight porkers back in the day, which is way more than enough than you would ever need. So I never thought I would need any more than that, but I would have most likely ran a different build. Oh my gosh, we get a Titan Slayer right away the second we drop in that Sharanga tank, taking down that Luch. Can we take down this Ming? Oh yeah, baby, lighten them up. We need to be careful. Do you see how aggressive they are? They've got three, four guys pinned pin me in in this home beacon, so I need to be very, very careful. I don't have many robots left, and I really don't want to lose my Titan straight away like this. Boom, we got a triple kill. Very nice. So I'm going to position myself here on this cover to try to take this guy out. Unfortunately, I have to reload right now, but it's all good. I still have my phase exile if I need it in a pinch. Boom, we get the Titan Slayer. I don't think he was anticipating the amount of damage output we had. It looks like he had cataclysms and stuff on there, and those are definitely not as strong as these weapons. So I don't think he knew uh, the type of firepower we were packing back here, because if he did, um, he, he should have used his Phase Exile if he still had it. Speaking of Phase Exile, I kind of made a mistake right here. I should have waited until he popped his uh, Reflector Shield until... I used my phase exile, but I wanted to create a little bit of space because he had shotguns. If he had cinders, I would have done it the other way and just waited it out. But with three shotguns, he could take you out in a hurry. So I wanted to get that phase exile on him to give myself a chance of survival. I was about to take that luchador out and I got mirror mets from my left hand side. Pretty, pretty, pretty unfortunate there. All right, we are dropping in with our Typhon with atomizers. Boom, we get the Titan Slayer. Finishing off that Luchador in short order. Now we've got this Miramets down here on this beacon. Let's see if we could drop him down a little bit. Unfortunately, our nuclear amp is not charged up yet. So we're going to have to play a little bit more defensive. Let's go back onto this beacon really quickly. Let's see if we could do something. Getting all close to him with the atomizers. So once they heat up, I don't miss any of my shots. He's taking a pretty nice amount of damage, to be totally fair right now. A lot more than I thought he was going to. These airstrikes are really doing a number on me this game. They're doing that little bit of extra damage that's really, really, really taking these robots out of the equation for me. Now I'm dropping in with my last robot. This is the only robot that does not have the energy machine guns. I've got the flames on this Revenant. I'm trying to battle off the other Revenant and the Spira Mets, but they are doing a great job of keeping me occupied over here. I want to finish off at least one of these guys so I don't have to fight two people. Um, it seemed like the Mirror Mets was going to be the easier target, but he went up in the flight, so I had to focus on this Revenant. We ended up taking him out and getting the double kill. Mirror Mets lands down. I'm trying to get this beacon back. I'm trying to kill him, but to no avail. This guy is extremely persistent. Let's see if we can finish him off with these flames right here. Oh my gosh, another airstrike. These airstrikes are tearing me up in this game. Jeez, Louise Papa Cheese. All right, man, can we take this dude out? Luckily, he walked outside of the beacon, which is incredible. Oh my gosh, and I'm getting hit with another airstrike yet again. It's like Airstrike City out here. Now this dude's coming back. I'm sure he's got a Revenant. Oh my gosh, even worse, a Sonic Fenrir. This is the exact counter to this build, and I have very low health. We get the Titan Slayer, but now we've got this dude in our face. I'm going to try to run around the corner because if I stay there, I will die. This is my last robot, and there's only one other player on my team right now. And the opposing team has the numbers. They have the beacons, and we are in trouble. I ended up getting taken out, and I lost my last and final robot with nearly two minutes remaining on the clock. But something tells me this match will not last two more minutes at all. Oh man, look at this. Two to one. One teammate left. Mars down to the wire. Shout out to Mars. Awesome player too. Um, what a tough, tough battle. 10.9 million damage with a mostly energy machine gun. Old hangar. Appreciate you guys so much. I hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back.